Hello everyone, I'm Katie from Anahata, I'm one of the Pilates instructors. Today's 20 minute workout is one for lower back care. So this one's mainly aimed at anyone who um, has a stiff lower back, pain in their lower back, um, who wants to do some movement, a class maybe, but feels a little bit unconfident with actually doing something if they're in pain. It's gentle and it's all about movement of the spine, so being kind to your spine. So it's not really a hardcore workout, so if you are here for that, maybe go to one of the other ones. Um, so this one's a lot more gentler. I'm not there to help you or to see what you're doing, so please just be careful, especially if you're in pain in the lower back. So don't do any movements that don't feel good for your body. As I said before, be kind to your spine and just listen to how your body feels today. It might not want to do them. Um, just breathe, go with it, and if I give modifications, we'll start at the lowest level and then you can add on if you want to, but if it doesn't feel right for you, don't do it, that's absolutely fine. Okay, let's start. So I'm actually gonna start seated. So for me, seating, I can sit cross-legged and I feel quite comfortable, so I'm gonna do that. You might want to sit taller, so for instance, you can sit on a cushion, a yoga block if you've got one, so I'll do that now. And also you can sit into a chair if you're at home, so Basically, you want to be in a nice neutral spine, and if you're struggling in the hips and the pelvic region, you feel quite tight, you're not going to be in neutral. So we want to feel that we're growing as we're sitting up. So we're going to sit nice and tall. We're going to concentrate on our breathing first of all, just relaxing the shoulders and focusing your gaze down or closing your eyes. And we're just going to breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. And as we're breathing, just trying to breathe into the back and side of the rib cage. Two more breaths like this. Feeling that you're like your musical instrument, the accordion, going out and in rather than taking any stress into the shoulders. And then we're just going to start to think about the lower abs. So we've got our pelvic floor, a hammock like muscle between the hip bones and our transversus, which is a corset muscle that run, runs around. Now, to feel that, if we place our hands onto our tummy muscles somewhere, so our mind's by my belly button, and just cough, <coughs> and you'll feel that your stomach muscle's pushing in a little bit. And that is the transversus muscle there. So just practice that, so one more. <coughs> and then it just pulls in, and they're the muscles we're trying to concentrate on. Sometimes I also describe it as if you had jeans on and you've got your zip, and your button of your jeans, that's where we're concentrating on. So what we're going to do is keep our hands here, shoulders are relaxed, growing from the crown of the head, and as we breathe out, we're trying to pull our stomach muscles in. So we're trying to engage them, and actually they should move away from the hands just slightly. It won't be big, but it's just an engagement of those muscles. So you're going to take a deep breath in. As you breathe out, you pull the belly button in. You take a deep breath and you keep it there, because we're breathing into the side of the ribs. And then you relax. Two more like that. Exhale to draw in. You take a deep breath and keep it there. And then you release it. Last one like that. Inhale to prepare. Exhale to draw in. Take a nice deep breath. And then release it. So they're the first two layers of abs. So when we're doing an exercise and we need to stabilise, actually these are the muscles we need to engage. If you're in life, you're carrying something, you're doing some gardening, you're picking up a baby, and you're feeling a little bit tender in the lower back, these are the muscles that are gonna help you support your lower back. Okay, so we wanna make them quite functional so we can use them in everyday life. Okay, just going into a little bit of um, flexion and extension now. So we're gonna take a deep breath into the back of the ribs. As we breathe out, you're gonna push your arms forward and your back back. Now if there is any pain here, just go to where you feel pain free. You take a nice wide breath into the back of the ribs and then re-stacking the spine nice and tall again. Place your hands behind you and just squeeze between your shoulder blades gently to get a slight extension in the upper back. And again like that, exhale to flex the spine. And you really are going for as far as you want to go here. You take a nice wide breath into the back of the rib cage. And then bring yourself back, place the hands behind you, squeeze between your shoulder blades, like you're shining a light from the breastbone. We've got two more to go. Exhale. Take a deep breath in, and then re-stacking nice into a place in the hands behind you, squeeze between the shoulder blades. Last one now. Exhale to flex. Take a deep breath. And then bringing yourself up, place the hands behind you, squeeze between the shoulder blades. 
and release it. Lovely. So just noticing how your back felt then. If it's feeling stiff, be aware of it. If it's feeling great, yay, that's a good sign. So we're gonna come onto our back now. So now we've engaged those wrap around zip up muscles, and that's how I describe it. We're now gonna do something called leg slides. So for our leg slides, it's all about stabilizing our neutral. So neutral is the most shock absorbing position, a natural S shape in the spine. So as we're doing that, we want, or as we're doing the movement, we want to stabilize that. So feet are gonna be um, hip width apart, first of all. I'm gonna lie onto our back, place the hands behind the back, um, place the hands onto your hip bones. Now, as you're lying here, if you feel you need a head pad to get yourself in a better alignment, you're more than welcome to use one. I've got my bun, which has actually put me in a good, good alignment there. And what we're gonna do is just arch the back as much as possible. So I'm sticking my bum out, essentially, and then I'm gonna flatten down as much as possible. So I'm just gonna do a few like that. Just noticing how my back feels again. If there's any pain, remember you're making the movement smaller. And then everyone just making the movement smaller each time until you get to that position that you feel you're halfway between the two points. So if you had a spirit level between the hips there, the bubble would be right in the middle. And that's what we want to focus on in this exercise, so there's no movement in your back at all. We're now gonna bring the legs together. We're gonna take a deep breath in. As we breathe out, we're gonna lengthen one leg away, flexing the foot, and it goes along the mat. And right now I'm thinking about my rib and hip connection. And I'm trying not to let anything move in my pelvis. So basically I don't want to arch the back. I'm keeping myself neutral. You're going to inhale to point the foot. And then I'm going to try and engage those wrap round zip up muscles as I pull the leg back along the floor. And then we'll do the other leg. Inhale to prepare. Exhale to flex the foot and lengthen away. Inhale to point the foot. And then wrapping round zipping up here, drawing the belly button in as I slide that leg back. Inhale to prepare, exhale, other leg. Now if your mat's getting a bit annoying, inhale to point the foot, and exhale to pull back. If that mat is getting a bit annoying as you slide that leg back, just roll up your mat, don't get annoyed by it, but it's good because at least you're using the resistance. Inhale to prepare, exhale to lengthen away. Inhale to point the foot, wrap round zip up as you slide back. Okay, you can either stay at this level, or we're gonna do both legs at the same time now. For this one, I'm definitely squeezing the legs together because my inner thighs help me connect with abs. Inhale to prepare, exhale to lengthen away. Inhale to point the feet, wrapping round, zipping up as you slide back. Just gonna slide up, <laughs> falling off my bed. <laughs> okay, inhale to prepare, exhale to lengthen away. Inhale to point the foot, wrap round zip up. I'm not changing the shape of my pelvis. I'm thinking about the connection between the ribs and hips. Inhale to prepare, exhale. You might want to put your hands here between the ribs and the hips so you know they're not flaring. Inhale to point the foot, wrap round zip up to slide back, last one. Inhale to prepare, exhale to lengthen away. Inhale to point the foot, and then wrapping round zipping up here, sliding back. So you might want to stay at that level or adding on again both arms. So with the arms now, what tends to happen, we have the obliques that run between the ribs and the hips. So as we move our arms, we want to keep that connection. And what can happen with people who are a little bit unstable is that. So we don't want that to happen. So as we lengthen our arms out and our legs out, now we're keeping our obliques again engaged. So as we do this, there's no movement in your core at all. This is a bit harder. So we're going to take a deep breath in. As we breathe out, flex the feet, lengthen away, both arms, both legs. So we're keeping the rib cage gliding down towards our feet, really. You're going to inhale to point the feet, wrap round zip up again as you slide back both ends. Inhale to prepare, exhale to lengthen away. Inhale to point the feet, wrap round zip up and slide it back. Two more, inhale to prepare, exhale to lengthen away. So this whole exercise you should not feel in your lower back. Your core is working hard, but the lower back is in neutral. It shouldn't be working, okay? You're stabilizing with your core. Exhale to lengthen away. So if you are, leave the exercise or come back to the most basic level. Good. And then once you've done that last one, just relax. You might want to hug the knees in so we could hug one leg in towards our chest, lengthen one leg away. Breathe into the back of the rib cage. And then swapping sides. Relaxing the shoulders, breathing into it. 
and then release it. So again, we're going to concentrate on that rib hip connection. So there's no movement there at all. And we're going to do something called a hip release. So for this, it's all about stabilization. Just because we're going to move our leg doesn't mean we need to move our core at all. So we're trying to get those wrap rounds hip up muscles working again. So keeping that neutral position, feet are hip width apart. I'm going to place my thumb onto my rib and my fingers down towards my hips just so I can concentrate and notice whether I'm moving. What we're going to do here is take a deep breath in. As you breathe out, you're going to drop one knee down to the side. Now, as you're doing this, concentrate on the opposite rib, the opposite hip and the opposite knee as not moving. And then you bring yourself back to centre. Exhale to drop yourself to the other side, keeping the rib, the hip and the knee still. And then inhale back. So it's all about stabilisation. Exhale. As I'm doing this, I'm concentrating on the opposite side of my body and just trying not to move. I'm not gripping, I'm just, and I don't really know what muscles are working. I'm just trying to stabilise, knowing that actually my wrap round zip up muscles are, but only quite low level. Exhale. And inhale back. One more like this, exhale to drop down. And then inhale back. Either staying at that level if you want to, or we're gonna to come to a bent leg, one leg circle. So it's the same principle, it's all about stabilization. We're gonna to inhale to start our circle on the leg that's in the air, and we're gonna exhale to finish it. Now we're in control of how big this circle is. So if our hips and our ribs and everything are moving, we need to make it a little bit smaller. We're gonna to inhale to start that circle and exhale to finish it. If anyone's very flexible and in no pain, you're more than welcome to have a straight leg. So you're gonna lengthen that leg and circle round. You're gonna do five in one direction and then you're gonna do five in the other. I'll just do it as a bent leg, so that's what we're starting on. And as I'm doing this, I'm concentrating on my rib, my hip and my knee. And as you do the circle, you can sort of see if you're looking at your legs slightly, you might be able to see in your peripheral vision, your other knee, if it's moving a lot. So you want to keep it stable, keep it still. Last one. And then we're going to swap sides. Knowing that we could be very different on the other side. So just be aware of that. So I'm going to lengthen that leg up. Inhale to start the circle coming across the body and exhale to finish it. Inhale to start it and exhale to finish it. Relaxing the shoulders. Noticing how this side of the body feels. So for me, actually, it's less stable. I'm concentrating on my opposite rib, my opposite hip. If anyone does want to straighten the leg, you're more than welcome to. And then we're doing the other way. So inhale to start it and exhale to finish it. If anyone is feeling really stable and actually feels like this is too easy for them and the back feels fine, you are more than welcome to do it with your hands in the air as well. So it just challenges you that little bit more and that's if you want to. Okay. And then once you've done your five one way, five the other way, place it back down and release it. Lovely. Okay, we're going to come onto the side of our body now and do a spinal rotation. So we're going to come onto the side now. If you are in any back pain, just be careful how you get up and um, or down and up from the mat. So normally you want to roll onto your side and bring yourself up. So just be aware of that. Don't just fling yourself around. Be really careful in the exercise if then suddenly I'm changing direction really quickly. Okay, so shoulder, hip, we're in alignment. I'm going to, I like to relax my head into my arm. And you can have a cushion, you can, whatever feels more comfortable for your neck. You want it in alignment with the spine. Now, because of my wall, I'm actually going to keep my arm bent like this. But if you want to, you're more than welcome to have a straight arm and you're just rotating back and seeing how far you can go. So just be aware of that. That's the only reason I've got my arm bent. Okay. You're going to inhale as you start to come up with your top arm. You're going to exhale to reach away now, opening up wide. And you go as far as you can keep those knees down. You're just lengthening into it. You take a deep breath in here. And then practice with those wrap round zip up muscles, bringing yourself back round so you have some engagement. Inhale as you start to come up. Exhale to reach away. Take a deep breath in. And then
and then bring yourself back round. Two more now. Inhale as you start to come up. Exhale to reach away. Take a deep breath in and then bring yourself back. We've got one more to go. Inhale as you start to come up. Exhale to lengthen away. Now I'm just going to stay there this time. As you breathe in, just stay. And as you breathe out, just try to relax a little bit more. Just opening up. Take a deep breath in. And then feeling that tightness in the waist as you bring yourself back round. And release it. Well done, everyone. So carefully coming up. So we're coming up. And swapping round to the other side. So again, I'm using bent arm, but you can have your arm nice and straight as you're doing it. And you can have, actually, I will do it this side. You can have a cushion this side or a head pad if you want to give yourself that neutral alignment. So the arm, would, the bottom arm, would just be bent. Okay. We're going to inhale as we start to come up. Exhale now to reach away. So as we're doing this, we're relaxing the shoulders. Now, what's the difference this side? Take a deep breath in. And then bringing yourself back round, wrapping round, zipping up here. Inhale as you start to come up. Exhale to lengthen away. Take a deep breath in. And then bringing yourself back. Two more. Inhale as you start to come up. Exhale to lengthen away. Take a deep breath in. And then bringing it back. Last one now. Inhale as you start to come up. Exhale, we're going to stay there this time. So take a deep breath as you breathe out. Just release that a little bit more. Take a deep breath in. And then bring yourself back round. And release it. Well done, everyone. Okay, slowly coming up. We're going to come onto a cat stretch. So we're going to come onto a four-point kneeling. So for this one, our knees are going to come underneath our hips. Our hands are going to come underneath the shoulders. So before we set up, we're thinking about that neutral spine again. I want you to feel that you're wrapping around zipping up. So maybe just relax your stomach muscles completely. And then just pull in that 20 to 30%. So you've got that active activation of those muscles by the way the button and the zip of your jeans would be. We're pushing the floor away and back of the next long. And we're going to start with our tailbone first. You're going to take a deep breath in. As you breathe out, start with that tailbone, pull the belly button in, round the spine, letting the shoulders round, but relaxing them so they're not coming up by the ears. Take a nice wide breath here, and then bone by bone, just back to that neutral position. Inhale to prepare. Exhale to curl all the way up. Imagine I'm poking you in the belly button as you're doing this flexion. Take a deep breath in here, and then bone by bone, back to that neutral place. Inhale to prepare. Do one more like this. Exhale to curl up. Take a deep breath in. And then re-stacking back out into that neutral alignment. Okay, we're going to add an extension now. So if you do want to, you're more than welcome to go the other way. So almost like a cat-cow pose. So inhale to prepare. Exhale to curl all the way up. Take a nice wide breath. And then this time, if you want to, you're dropping down, letting the back arch squeezing between the shoulder blades and letting the eye line come up. Take a breath, it's hard to breathe because the throat's restricted. And then exhale to curl all the way up. So full movement of your spine now, enjoy it. Take a deep breath, curling back the other way. And just go into where you feel you want to. Try to enjoy the movement, there's no stiffness, there's no stress. Exhale to curl all the way up. You can do this in your own time if I'm going too fast or too slow. Dropping down, squeezing between the shoulder blades, letting the eye line come up. We're going to do one more. Exhale to flex the spine. And then once you're in this position, send your bum down towards your heels, coming into that shell stretch, reaching the fingertips away. Take a nice wide breath here. And then when you're ready, your head is the last thing. You either reset onto the knees if you've got the flexibility, or you're coming back onto all fours, depending on how your knees feel. Well done, everyone. Okay, lovely. Okay, just warming up now our shoulders. So, whereas we were working on our lower back there, when we were doing the articulation for the lower back when we found our neutral, we're now just going to work on articulating the upper back and our shoulders. Lower back pain doesn't mean that it's just in the lower back, so you might actually have some pain in the upper back as well because it's trying to stabilise you. So for this, we're just moving our shoulder blades. We're going to sit nice and tall. 
arms gonna come out in front of you. And we're gonna inhale and just reach our shoulders forward. So we're protracting our shoulders. You're then gonna come back to neutral and then squeeze the shoulder blades together going the other way. So they're feeling that they're gliding together towards the spine. You're gonna come forwards and then go all the way back and down. Two more to go, coming forwards and then all the way back and down. Last one, coming forwards. I just realised the time. <laughs> so hard to do 20 minutes. It's not going to be 20 minutes. <laughs> and then all the way back and down, and then just release it. Now flexing your hands, doesn't matter if you're knee to the floor, just bend the elbows if you need to. And we're just going to pull our shoulders away from our ears. So we're going to pull our shoulders all the way back down to the mat, and then release it. So depression of the shoulders. Now this, if you have been in pain, your shoulders might be up by your ears. So just trying to relax them. Got one more to go. And then just release it. And if you need to do a shoulder after that, do. Okay, a spine twist. So still seated, again, you can be cross-legged or I'm just gonna have my legs down because it's quicker. We're gonna do something called genie arms. So we're gonna place one arm on top and one arm below. Shoulders are down because we've just practiced doing that. And we're thinking about the connection between our rib and hip again. So we've got the connection there, we're drawing in. We are lengthening the spines, we're in neutral here. So if you need to sit higher again, do. We're gonna take a deep breath in. And then as we breathe out, we're just gonna to twist to the side gently for one. You're gonna see if you can go any further for two, but you're not pushing it, you're just relaxing into it. Three, and then come back to center. And then you come to the other side. Exhale, twisting for one, for two, for three, and back to center, growing another inch. So as we're doing this, it's like we're spiralling up and out rather than sitting and compressing down. So you're growing as tall as you possibly can each time. Okay, swapping the arms over now so the other's on top. Back to centre, then the other side. You might feel completely different from side to side, so be aware of that. We've got one more to go each way. Last one, back to centre and then release it, lovely. Okay, coming on to our backs for our ab prep, remembering that we're getting um, being really safe as we come down. So coming on to our back, feet are hip width apart. An ab prep is basically a sit up, but we're gonna do it technically correct because uh, especially if we've got any lower back pain, we actually want to be in neutral, we're not putting any load on our lower back at all. So you're in that neutral position. If you need to rock forwards and backwards to find it, do. And we're really thinking about keeping it neutral as we do this exercise. We're gonna start this movement off with a head nod, which is a lengthening of the back of the neck. You're then gonna breathe out, pull the rib cage down and reach your fingertips away. You take a deep breath in, you're looking at your knees and then you come back down again. Inhale to head nod, exhale to come up. Take a deep breath in and then release it. Two more, inhale to head nod, exhale to come up. Take a deep breath in, I'm trying to engage the core, I'm drawing in, and then release it. Last one now, inhale to head nod, exhale to come up. Take a deep breath in, and then release it. So you can do this with your arms anywhere. So you can have your arms there, you can spice it up and have your hands behind the back of the head, or if you want to make it even harder, you could put your hands here. So just because of time, I'm just demonstrating that one, but if at home you want to do a few more, pause this now and do it behind the back of the head or in front. You can also add pulses if you want to. So for the pulses, it would be an inhale to head nod, exhale to come up. Come down halfway and then just a little pulse up for four maybe, breathing out each time and then bringing yourself back down. Once you've done your ab prep, Come on to your side, so easy to get up that way. Coming on to your side, and then we're gonna come on to our tummy to work the back the other way. So coming on to our tummy, feet are gonna to be together if we've got a healthy spine, or they're gonna be hip width apart, or just slightly apart if you have any, any sort of um, niggling bits in your spine or any sort of injuries. Hands are gonna be by the ears here, and you might want a head pad here, or you might want a cushion, so I'm actually gonna pop the cushion just on underneath my forehead, just to give me that more of a neutral neck, uh, neck alignment. For this one, it's really important we don't feel this in the lower back. I'm trying to get you to fit it into your upper back and move from a different place, so just be aware of that. 
We're going to inhale to shoulders go back and down. So we're switching on the shoulder blades. You're going to exhale to come up here. So it's just like a mini cobra if you do a lot of yoga. And what we're doing here is a very small uh, movement. It's called breaststroke prep. It's a prep position. And then you release back down. We're going to inhale as the shoulders go away. Exhale to come up. Take a deep breath in. And then release it back down. Two more. Inhale. Exhale to come up. So as I'm doing this, I'm drawing my belly button in. Just because I'm lying on it, I'm not forgetting about it. And then release it. Okay, we're going to have the hands here to the side of the body. And I'm only feeling it to my mid back. So inhale this time. As the shoulders go back and down, let the palms turn into the body. Exhale to come up. So the collarbone now is smiling off the floor. You take a deep breath in. And then you release back down. Inhale, shoulders away. Exhale to come up. So you're a long duck. There's energy coming up through the crown of the head to the toes. And then release it back down. And if anyone does feel this in their lower back, you need to feel that you're pulling in the belly button more, maybe squeezing the glutes a little bit more, not coming up as high, and maybe placing something underneath the pelvis, and so maybe a blanket or something like that, and that will change the shape of your back. Okay, last one like that. Inhale as the shoulders go away. Exhale to come up. Take a deep breath in here. And then release it. Okay, coming onto all fours. Pulling your belly button in, rounding the back, and sending the bum down towards the heels as you get that shell stretch again. Take a nice wide breath into the back of the rib cage. And then your head is the last thing again as you restack that spine, bone by bone by bone. And then we're going to come into last one now, a mermaid to finish. So we're coming into seated. Again, you can sit however you want. You can sit cross legs, legs down on a chair. I'm just going to do it like this because it's more functional if anyone is in pain and wants to sit onto a chair rather than a bed. Okay, we're going to move that. We're going to inhale as our right arm comes up. Exhale as we flex over our spine, relaxing our shoulders so don't let the shoulders come up by the ears. You take a deep breath in here, and then you bring yourself back. Inhale as the arm comes up. Exhale to side bend over. As I'm doing this, I'm sending my hip into the mat as well, and then bringing yourself back. Inhale as the arm comes up. Exhale to go over. Now breathing into the side of the rib cage, and then bringing yourself back. Last one, inhale as the arm comes up. Exhale to go over. Take a deep breath in. And then bringing yourself back. And releasing it. Well done everyone. And hopefully that got you moving. So what we've done today is flexion, extension, and lateral flexion. Just and a rotation as well. A few rotations. So we're just trying to get that spine moving, but safely. So I hope you enjoyed that. You can ask any questions if you need to. Just let Anahata know. See you soon, hopefully, I'll see you soon. <laughs>